Hello everybody, it's Several Total Four for something different. Something random. We're going to play The Legend of Zelda in the Lampshade of No Real Significance. Um, it's a very fun game, made by Super Flash Bros. Uh, if you haven't heard of them before, uh, they make Flash movies, uh, mostly like on Newgrounds and stuff like that. They have their own website, but there was a time when Newgrounds was the uh, the bomb, the bomb diggity, the controls, just arrow keys in space. Well, here we go. Start off over here, that's what Zelda, lo oh, Zelda, Link looks like. This is main 2005, by the way, so good times. No Wii yet. Lampshade Guardian, Invincible Sewer Demon, oh my god, how are we going to defeat it? You pulled the plug. Yep, <laughs> I love this game. This, this it's 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 just a funny game, and uh, yeah, you got the mystical lampshade. You'll need to take it to the Temple of Light to the north. Okay, so let's get out of here. And now we're in high school. <laughs> uh, what I love about this game is that it's uh. It's pretty much uh, a game entirely made up of uh, references. Um, not all of them I immediately get because I don't watch some of these creators, but like that's the Super Flash Brothers uh, logo right there. Um, I don't know what that is. I don't remember. I, I've seen it somewhere. That's... I see it in. But anyway, so. The characters in this game are pretty much all uh, either video game characters or uh, members of uh, various like video making things that all work together. Uh, Super Flash Brothers, uh, uh, Legendary Frog. Uh, this is uh, Gherkin Man. I'm Gherkin Man. Revel in my weirdry. And it's just all like it's just very funny to see like these these various things. To <laughs> So let's talk to the guy, Randy. I'm star. I'm guarding the temple. I missed lunch. I'm starving. Take this money and get me some food. Could you have a burger? And I'll have a burger and a sprite. You got the big bag of money. It looks like Randy's advertising money. Yes, yeah, so I don't get all the, the the puns here. Let me just lower the volume a bit. I don't get all the puns here. The music is obviously from the uh, Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time when you have to make your way to the princess. Uh, towards the beginning of the game. Uh, I'm going to put uh, some information about all the characters here in the description of the video, just so that you guys have some idea of who these people are. Jasper, I'm so bored. Okay. PC World, the computer superstore. Total elite prices. Alex Lab. Enjoy the movie. Mmm, popcorn. Okay. Good times, good times. This is Rubber Ninja. Come on. We might be stamping down prices, but we don't seem to sell any PCs. Ooh. And all the uh, stuff here is actually, you can look at, generic strategy game, populous civilizations of rooms, black and red alert pharaohs. Yeah, so, it's that's like a conglomerate of, of all the various strategy games, civilization, and Rome Total War, and Red Alert, and so, so on and so forth. Let's see what else do we got. Generic war game, Total Medal of Assault Valor Brothers. I just like that. The Sums Edition Pack. <laughs> Instead of The Sims. <laughs> Any more? Uh, I think there was a couple more. I love this music, by the way. Um, Macromedia Flash MX 2059 Future Edition. Okay, I think that's it. It's, it's always random, like when you look at the area. Okay, fine. Who are you? Jen. I'm not a plot character, but I'm still in the game. Power to the NPC! Okay. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, go to McDonald's and finally try to get our food, because we have the big bag of money! Tom. Sorry, we're all out of meat. We just sold our last burger to the guy in the orange shirt. And, yeah, that's Samus. There's gonna be a few video game characters here. All this greasy food is doing nothing for my hair. I need to sort it out. Yep. Okay, so let's go find that guy in the orange shirt, because he stole our food. Um, there you are. That's a uh, legendary frog over there, or uh, uh, 
uh, Joseph Blanchett. John. Mmm, that burger was dead tasty. Damn it, you, you burger. There used to be a frog in this pond. Joey, instead of Joseph. Let's see who's in here. Kirby! I'm going on a jungle mission soon. I need to practice my stealth. It was like a... These guys had like a series Richie Zerbies. Uh, PK is Perfect Kirby. So, um, I don't know. Something about Perfect Dark and Kirby together. It's kind of cool. I will be coming back here later. I do remember most of the locations for the... Uh, for the... Uh, b -b 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 trading quest. This The game is a trading quest, pretty much. This is JT? No, Dim. Got it. You got my big bag of money. Thanks, now I can buy a revolution. This came out before the Wii, so it was called a revolution back then. Yay for knowing the reference. Please take that spray bottle and dress as a gift. I'll uh, notice that the bag of hate mail is bigger than the fan mail. It's just kind of funny. You got the girly hair product. It's perfect for fighting hat hair. And uh, yeah, you know where to put that. Let's. I just want to see if there's anything else in this room. Old Sonic com the comics are piled against the wall. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, let's, let's see the computer. Can we? No. Okay, fine. Fan mail. Yeah, I just like that. Like, fan mail is bigger than the hate mail. It's actually a very well-made game. I, I enjoy it quite a lot. So now that we have the girly hair products, we can go back to Samus. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Wow, it's six and a half minutes already. I am sorry. I did not think that I would ramble on for so long. Hello. Can I take those hair products? You have this free toy. I got the Happy Meal. You got the tiny extreme iron. That's a uh, that's uh, warning deadly of swell. The extreme iron is a uh, reference to uh, one of the videos by uh, Dim Dan and JT um, called the decline of video gaming. And uh, yeah, that's uh, Snake over there. And uh, so there was this like one game called uh, like Mario's Extreme Ironing. So it was funny. But anyway, we go over here. This is characters from Devil May Cry. I actually have no idea who this is, but. The tombstone says, can I rest in peace, please? Hi, Hachi. What's this little iron? Maybe I should chew on it. <laughs> yeah, it says, deadly of swallowed. Uh, make sure no one steals my vase. Blech. And we get the vase. You got the vase. So let's get out of here. We'll be coming back here later. That's, uh, that's, I think that's JT sleeping. I think this is Dan. Yes, the vase will work in the well. There was a frog in the water. You can have it. You got the frog of legend. Get it? Because uh, Joseph Blanchett is also known as Legendary Frog. So it's funny because Legendary Frog. Ha ha ha. It looks kind of like Kermit though. Do I talk to you? Yes. Uh, so who do I give the frog? Oh, I know. Okay, so if you've ever played... I've never played it, but I know the... Uh, if you've ever played Metal Gear Solid 3, you know that Snake Eats Animals. You brought me a frog to eat? Thanks! Here's this tiger face paint. It's not lowering my camo index enough. I actually know what that means. Great for stealth, myth stealth missions and kids parties. Okay. Uh, what else do you say? If I collect all these frogs, I get the stealth camo. Or do I do a no alert playthrough, which is easier? This is like a lot of references to games and stuff. His camo index is in uh, Metal Gear Solid 3, um, depending on the type of uh, camouflage you have, uh, it helps you hide better in certain situations. But yeah, Kirby was doing on his mission, so... Woohoo, these face paints are cool! Here, take this, I got 20! You got the taser! Keep away from water and small puppies. Roar, man, I'm good, yeah, now it looks like a tiger! So now that we have the taser, maybe we should go s oh, wake up the uh, sleeping JT in the road over there. Bum 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 Hello, Dan. Water didn't wake him up. He needs to be shocked awake. <laughs> Maybe this taser will wake him up. <laughs> I love that. Oh, dear. <laughs> and yeah, so... Um, Game Master magazine sit by the wall. These look expensive. JT must be such a great guy for buying all these magazines. I believe that's Final Fantasy XI on their computers, the MMO. Uh, stupid Final Fantasy XI. Poor JT. Oh well, I get his stuff. You can have his light gun though. Uh, don't don't do that. How did you? Yeah, the when I press spacebar, it's now making the page go down to the comments section. That's weird. 
Okay, that that was strange. Anyway, we get his light gun. He's known for having a good light gun crisis, uh, light gun uh, skills. It's made so well it almost looks real. Yeah, there's time crisis. The game he uses it with, and there's a wet spot on the floor there. It's kind of, or maybe that's a couch or something. Um, yeah. So now that we have the light gun, uh, who can we give that to? Um, is it someone in, I don't think we need to really go here, yeah. Tom Full pulls into so top secret new ground headquarters. We finally set up an office, yoink! And it's just destroying flash things, I don't know. It has no purpose. No purpose! Uh, do we give. I don't think we give the like unto you. I'm trying to remember, there was... I don't think we gave it to Zerbies either. Yeah, he's just a random NPC. We already got one to JT down there. And uh, maybe we give the... I don't... I, I didn't think so, but I guess we give the light gun to Dante. Uh, from Devil May Cry. Um... Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. I, just, I just like the little references here. They're... Get your shovel! Get off my shovel! I'll go devil trick on your ass. Okay, okay. Thanks for the handgun. All right, you can take a shovel if you want. It doesn't have a DT mode though. I have no idea what that is a reference to because I never played Devil May Cry. I guess the demon devil trigger or whatever. You got the shovel. Tool of choice are grave diggers and zombies alike. Uh, zombie is um, is a really good web uh, uh, series actually uh, that I liked. I forgot who made it though. You dug up the grave. You got the human corpse! The meaty flesh hasn't had time to rot. Nothing wrong with a bit of grave robbing. Do you know what we do with the corpse? Oh, ho, ho, do you know what we do with the corpse? We do it, we, they normally do with corpses in the real world. That's right, we're going to McDonald's. You've got some meat. Good quality, too. I'll make a burger right now if you want. You got the burger! Hmm, that's why they taste funny. Yep, McDonald's burgers are made out of human corpses. Surprise! <laughs> and so now we have something to finally give this guy. Hey, you finally got some food. What took you long? Thanks anyway. Blech. <laughs> uh, stomach pain. Yep, but now we can finally access the Temple of Light. You place the lampshade on the altar. The feng shui of the room was perfected. That's it. <laughs> That's the Zelda, Legend of Zelda and the Lampshade of No Real Significance. <laughs> Nothing more. That's really it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, be sure to read the description for the uh, various uh, cameos that appeared in, uh, in, the, uh, in the cartoon. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>